Well, folks, let me introduce you to the new Miss Greater Dairy. This is the winner of the Miss Greater Dairy Beauty Pageant. And right away, I noticed something about um, the new Miss Greater Dairy. And at first, it was uh, hard to put my finger on what exactly it was. But it turns out that this uh, Miss Greater Dairy is, um, I mean, how to put this tactfully? Uh, well, Miss Greater Dairy is a, is an overweight man. And her name is Brian. So it raises some questions. Um, well, for one thing, it's a, well, it's a beauty pageant, right? I mean, it's got, it's got beauty pageant right in the name. And I know, you know beauty standards are all subjective and everything, but, um, well, just look at them. It says Brian has become the first trans winner of the Miss Greater Dairy Beauty Pageant. Brian. That's what makes me think this might be a prank because wouldn't you change your name? <laughs> I mean... I mean, Miss Greater Dairy is Brian. It's pure comedy, isn't it? Now, uh, Miss Greater Dairy comes under the umbrella of the Miss USA LLC. And just this week, uh, a U.S. court announced that uh, this uh, Miss USA cannot be forced to include transgenders as contestants since it would obstruct the organization's ability to express the, quote, ideal version of American womanhood. According to the ruling, they should be allowed to enforce their natural-born female rule because the First Amendment enables them to do so. So apparently they didn't have to let Brian uh, run for Miss Greater Dairy, but they did anyway. And I guess this lawsuit uh, originated when a lawsuit was filed by a trans woman named Anita Green. Quote, I believe United States of America Miss is on the wrong side of history for choosing to actively discriminate against transgender people. And then uh, transgender women are women. But I have to ask, is Brian really a woman? I mean, I know this Anita Green is saying so, but I'm just not convinced that Brian is convinced that Brian is a woman. I mean, look, this is straight out of a, a sketch comedy show from not that long ago. You know, right around the time that we decided that words don't mean anything anymore? Well, it says here that uh, the response on social media was mixed. <laughs> was it now? Uh, on Facebook, uh, Brian was described as iconic and a history maker, while some took to Twitter to point out that the biological male had taken away a scholarship from a young woman. Yeah, that seems a little bit unfair to me, but um, I mean, just look at this. How is this not some sort of prank? If this is a prank, this guy's a legend. Absolutely 100%. It's a prank so good that uh, he deserves the uh, scholarship. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and treat this as comedy. I'm just going to laugh at it. I mean, the swimsuit part, that would have been truly hilarious. Uh, the only thing that could make this more ridiculous is if uh, Brian also ends up winning the Coney Island hot dog eating competition. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for sharing my content. It makes a big difference. Thank you. I'll see you next time.